so today I'm going to talk you through how I make this cropped cardigan um, with a mixture of the circular knitting machine and also um, nuking, which is knitting with a crochet hook. Um, you could of course make this completely on the knitting machine or completely by hand using regular knitting or nuking, whatever your preference is. So the basic construction is it is two panels um, that are basically joined in the back and at the side seam. So to start with, to make the two panels, I cast on 43 needles on my central knitting machine. I always cast on with waste yarn. So I cast on with waste yarn and then I did 144 rows um, which is just normal um, stockinette stitch so if you are going to make this um, by hand um, you would need to do uh, a row of knit then a row of pearls and a row of knit as you go back and forth um, and I would recommend that you use either a 7 or an 8 millimeter needle and that will get you um, about the same size as what I'm wearing. I am about a size 14 to a 16 UK size, if that will give you some idea. And I am five foot two tall. Um, but I will also measure um, and let you know what the actual dimensions turn out to be. I also do have a video on my channel if you are going to use the central on how to work out gauge so you know if you want to make it a certain size, how many rows and stitches you would need to do. Okay, so then once I had the two main panels, um, what I did was I joined them at the back with, um, so I counted up um, 65 stitches. Um, but how I worked that out was I basically just um, used stitch markers and clipped it together um, up the back until I got to a comfortable um, section in the neck area and then I just seam that together and then the next thing to do is to seam the sides together and for the side seams I stitched up 33 stitches on either side um, and that took it quite comfortably not too close to my armpit so I do have a lot of movement um, but it's also still keeps me warm there's not going to be any draft getting in there um, and to do those stitches together, all I did was um, a really basic uh, mattress stitch, which um, you can't really tell um, on the stitches, which is quite nice. It is my favourite joining method. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so I'm not going to um, include a tutorial here. Um, but if you did want to see one, um, just post a comment down below um, and request one, and then I might do one. Um, but like I said, there is a lot of great tutorials on YouTube, so I'm not sure I would have anything to add that isn't already available. So then once I had the two panels um, stitched together, um, I tried it on. Um, and also just to add here that this was um, the stash busting project. Um, I thought I had enough to make a full length uh, cardigan, but I didn't. Um, so. It turned out to be cropped. I also thought I had enough to add sleeves and I might still have enough to add sleeves. Um, we'll see, this is all I have left. These two little balls here. I don't know exactly how much sleeves they would add. I maybe might add some, some ribbing like I've got along the bottom. Let me know, what do you think? Um, post a comment down below, let me know. Should I add some ribbing or should I just leave it as it is? Okay, so where were we? Right, so once we've stitched up the side seams with mattress stitch, um, the next thing to do was to add the ribbing to the bottom. Um, and I decided to do this by hand. You can do it on the Addy, um, on your um, knitting machine, but I just find it quite stressful. Um, and also if, if your hands aren't uh, very dexterous, um, it is quite stressful and quite difficult. Um, and also I was sort of sick of, sick of sitting in front of the machine by that point um, and I just wanted to sit on the couch. 
So um, I decided to do this by hand um, and I did this with a crochet hook um, and it's just a two knit, two purl uh, repeat going all the way around. Um, and what I did do with the front is because I don't like to block my knitting because everything I make I want to be able to throw in the washing machine you would have to block it every time. Um, so what I've actually done is I fold over just as if I was sewing and I sort of hem the front. So I folded over um, five stitches in the front and then I uh, cast on with my crochet hook um, sort of sewing those two together as I went. Um, and then I did 10 rows of knit two, purl two, um, all the way around. But when I got to the back, um, as you can see, it is quite baggy on the back. I am really quite small in the back area compared to in the front. Um, so what I did was I just did 10 uh, decreases in the back just to sort of try and pull that in a little bit. And it did actually help. Um, it is a little baggy still, but I don't mind that so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 either side. And then when I get to my markers, I'll do increase normal, increase normal, sorry, decrease normal, decrease normal. Um, and if I do that over 20 stitches, that will give me 10 decreases. So yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, but it did make quite a bit of difference. Um, I will post a video in the cards of how to do a decrease when nooking if you don't know how to do that. And then what you also want to do is, um, well, I popped mine in the wash uh, because I didn't wash this yarn before I used it. So um, I popped it in the wash um, just on a 30 degree um, daily wash, nothing special. Um, and then after that, I, hang it, I hung it up to dry and um, hoping it would drop uh, to make it a little bit longer, which it did a little bit. I think I've got an extra couple of centimeters. Um, after washing it, so that was good. Um, and then the final step was just to um, stitch the the seam in place to stop any rolling. Um, and I just did that with regular thread. You could do it with matching yarn, um, but I really like it to be quite hidden. And I don't think you can see any stitches at all in the front if you do it with normal thread. Um, and I just did a basic running stitch all the way up the front and then down this side. Um, and that's it, all finished. Um, I did consider adding buttons. And these are the buttons that I quite liked. Um, but I can't decide whether I like it just to be a throw on shrug or whether I do want to do buttons and buttonholes. Um, there was a lot of indecision with this project, um, so let me know down below if you think. Should I just leave it as it is? Should I add ribbing or sleeves? Should I add buttons, buttonholes? If you make this, let me know um, what you did with yours. Did you add buttonholes? Did you... Or if you just made this, just let me know how did it turn out. Um, so. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this little bit different type of tutorial, more of a sort of vlog walkthrough. Um, so yeah, this is the final product.